Hey everybody and welcome back to I Heart Board Games here live from Twitch. Tonight it's Chronicles of Crime Part 2. Chronicles of Crime is designed by David Sicurell and is published by Lucky Duck Games. I am Ronald and with me I have... Joe. Yes, and our other hoster here as well. Melissa. And Jesse. And we are just back from Dice Tower Convention <gasps> oh, in Florida. Yeah. We're finally back home. Yes. I got home yesterday about 2 p.m. When did you guys get back? Uh, about like midnight-ish, right, right before midnight. Somewhere around there. Okay, all right. Yes, um, and this game, did, did this guy, I tried to watch some of those awards. Did this one win any Dice Tower Awards while we were there? Sure did, it won Ooh. a bunch. Oh yeah. I didn't watch it, but I heard that it won a Innovative bunch. Innovative game. Oh yes, oh yes, I do remember. And that. something else. What makes this game so innovative is an app. <gasps> yep. This game uses an app and QR codes for you to play with. Very nice. Um, if you're uh, interested in this game, just know that there will be spoilers in tonight's stream. Um, we already played chapter one of The Power Behind, which is the name of this storyline. Um, who wants to give like a recap of what happened in episode one? If I remembered, I would. <laughs> we found an au pair at the in the park, right? Wasn't it? Yes, she was a nanny. Mm -hmm. Oh, she was dead. She was dead. Yep. And what had killed her, Melissa? Uh, the the poison in the in the um, pie. Was that it? was that the was tutorial. The, uh, oh, the tutorial. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but I, I I like that. Okay. Yeah. She was stabbed. She was stabbed. That's oh, correct. As we say, bludgeoned. She was bludgeoned by a weapon. Yes. Anything else of import? Uh, there was a, a, a girl, a little girl yes. with a doll. Mm -hmm. What happened to her? Uh, she was she stabbed. Like, she, no. was, she was not stabbed. Was she <laughs> right, yeah, she was kidnapped by the bad guys. She was kidnapped, but what happened in the end? Oh, for ransom. Uh, we caught the bad guy. Oh, yeah. We caught the bad guy. And we she was found freed. the little girl. She was freed. But it was clear that something larger was going on. Mm. Because the guy who kidnapped her for the money, he... Uh, expressed that there was like a criminal ring who had contacted him about buying the little girl. <gasps> mm. So um, there is a parental advisory on this game. Graphic content, drug references, strong language, and sensitive subject. And I remember in the last one, the lady was like doing heroin or something like that. She had a drug dealer in the park. Fair. Um, if you're interested in watching us play through chapter one, episode <gasps> one, hello, yes! Slivers! Yes! Uh, you can go check it out on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash iHeartBoardGames. Mm -hmm. um, or if you're already here on YouTube, just go click on it somewhere around. I saw Slivers yesterday. Oh! <laughs> we yes. got to meet Slivers recently and several of our other viewers at Dice Tower Convention. What yep. a cool convention. Yes. What did you guys think of the con this year? I loved all the moments that I got to make. I mean, just ability to like meet people that we've been talking with in chat to feel, I mean, like just come to, to come to be able to like play a game or like hang out or just, just those moments. I really love that to be able to meet, meet everybody. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it was awesome. It was really yeah. crazily cool. We got to meet so many of our viewers. We got to meet, um, a lot of industry people and even stream with them. Hey, there's someone else that <gasps> I recently <laughs> met. <laughs> chocolate oh. with almonds, day. I can get behind that. Ooh, yes. now I want some chocolate. Mm. I had a chocolate co covered almond yesterday. Oh, yes. Once. Yes. Once. <laughs> and it's probably important to mention Graybeard actually is our benefactor for this game. <laughs> yes. Sorry you didn't get Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Yes. Oh. <laughs> um, Graybeard actually bought us this game and sent it to us in the mail, so thank you so much for to Graybeard for yes, that. Yes, thank you, Graybeard. It was so great to meet all of you guys um, in Orlando, and hopefully we'll get to meet you at another convention in the future. Again, yes. or just see you or whatever. Yep. Um, whatever that may be. <laughs> yeah. The future, uh, the future is we don't open. know. Yes. So, um, let's get into Chronicles of Crime. What do you say? <gasps> All Woo! right. Joe, are you ready? Yeah, sure. You ready? Yeah, I didn't get to play anything with Graybeard. What's up with I that? I know. So, I Graybeard, who were you playing all of Every time I saw you, you were playing some big game with a bunch of people, and I'm like, why couldn't that be me? I know. Um, <laughs> I just caught him walking by or, you know, going somewhere. <laughs> hey, he played that uh, that TMG game you were playing, uh, Gen. Yeah, I saw him playing that. Gentis. Oh, you saw him playing it? I thought he, yeah. I thought you played it in the villa. 
I saw him playing it. Oh, and the hot wings table. I know, but that remains to be seen. Yeah, they were walking to the. uh, And I got to see him playing Predaporte as well, which I also played. (laughs) Jesse and Melissa didn't play a game with you either. But you did. Jesse and Melissa didn't play games with anybody. No, Uh, but you did help to show us that game. He did play a game with you on stream, right? Two games on stream. (laughs) Where's video evidence that that's not true? (laughs) Yes, I wasn't there at the stream, but Jesse was. And then you you taught me a game. Wicked Lair with you. Um, was Melissa there for that? Melissa did not play a game with slivers. I thought you guys played some kind of game about forest spirits. Yeah, spirits in the forest. Oh, we did. He, he, he wasn't played the uh, busking, New Orleans busking. He yes. wasn't there. For oh spirits, yeah, yeah. He was I was just standing by. He was going through the rules. He could have played. Oh. He could have played, but, but he did. He was nice oh. enough to be able to show it to it. And I really do want to. I, I really do want that game now. It was really good. I really well, liked I played it. like eight games with slivers, so. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm just saying. He it's took all of our time. Yeah. Ronald monopolized all the time with slivers. We didn't get any time. Um, I assure you, all of the time <laughs> you just weren't there. <laughs> See, Ronald was awesome. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, slivers. Thank you. It was really cool. It was a really fun time. <laughs> all right, so we're ready to get on with the source of evil. Mm. That is what Chapter Two of uh, the Power Behind is called. So um, I guess let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. I also don't like the way the shirt fits. Yeah, I did not it's get my a least shirt. favorite one of the all of the years. I did not I get had. a shirt this year, <laughs> and I didn't get a hoodie this year. But oh, I love my purple hoodie. Mm. I'm all about that purple hoodie. But I do like it was the fifth. It was year four or five is like, when I got my hoodie. items now. <laughs> uh, was, let's let's not say it. There was year. It was either year four or year five. They came out with the one that just said Die Star Cop. It had no year on it, and that's my favorite one because it is universally it can wear. It doesn't matter the year. It's just you know timeless. That's my favorite uh, so just, hoodie. Except that it's not called that anymore. It's gonna be dated. Uh, <laughs> it's dated now. That's true. It's nostalgic. It's nostalgic. You can mark it out with a marker sharpie. Put East. Oh. I like that. All right, so let's see. Play. All right. Loading. Loading, loading, loading. <laughs> Keep the game loading. Loading, 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 loading. Load them up, 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 load them up. There it is. Yay! Number That's 33, what I'm please. 11.33. No, number 33. Oh, number 33. I was like, 11.33. You know, you can flip them over and oh, they'll be in numerical it's, it's, order. It's, it's, it's 30. <laughs> it is 9 a.m. when Chief Officer Doyle calls you into his office. Well done. Oh, this is the guy. He okay, goes yeah. here. He's at Scotland Yard. There we go. Kidnappers so you got currently person. at Scotland Yard. Oh, he, he's Scot- Oh, I didn't realize they were all British. This um, one? Oh, well, he's not. Two? Uh, no, oh, waiting Melissa, trans- 44. 44? Okay. I guess you'd like to continue our investigation. Hold on. Let's Wait stop a for a second. second. What? When? Okay. Well, if you look up there, you can see a little <laughs> figure and a number. Anytime you see that, you oh, have to get the person out. Oh, this one is out. the two. Then what was 33? I don't see we 33. We were on a previous part. screen. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Move I wasn't forward. looking at that. His name's, his name's Doyle, so I'm pretty certain he's... he's. Yeah, okay. Oh, gosh, it's that scary guy again. What was his name again? Can anyone tell me? Um, scary dude in the park. <laughs> no. One-eyed Willie. <laughs> He's got two eyes, so that's incorrect. Uh, His name was Buck. Oh, Buck. I was going to say... He likes to kidnap uh, kids. No, he likes to <laughs> hang out in the park. That wasn't okay. a kidnapper, was it? So that was him. Two. Yes. That oh, was him. Okay. Star 2. Where does this go? M Organization Star 2. Well, Okay. So, uh, right. the kidnapper is currently at Scotland Yard awaiting transfer. I guess you'd like to continue your investigation into the M organization, but the case is too big for you. I will take care of it. Well. Instead, I'm counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> One night, Willie really can't figure out why everyone calls him that either. <laughs> Oh, I think he figured it out. He just doesn't like it. To sort out another on, case for that's me. That's what I'm <laughs> We just got a call from St. Mary's Hospital. Oh. In. Their director, Dr. Herbert Brown. No, number 37, what? 37. Okay. 37. Hanged himself in his office this morning. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm. Oh, goodness. What's happening? Oh. Got an 
Another dead body. Dead bodies cropping up everywhere. Oh, gosh. Bummer. You have until the end of the day to give me a preliminary report on this case. <gasps> the end of the day? Yeah. What time it's is it nine now? Nine o'clock. Oh, gosh. Why didn't you tell us earlier? We're Alyssa, wasting hours. Have you had a lot of wine today or something? <laughs> no, I'm just... I think it's coffee. Yeah, coffee. Oh, it's coffee. been so okay. much coffee. <laughs> All right, so what do we want to do? Maybe Sorry, I couldn't drink say for all the fiasco. It was fun to see you and the Brothers Murph up there. You'll have to film me on how it all ended sometime. Oh, it'll oh, be up on YouTube mm -hmm. very soon. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. also, if you can't wait for YouTube, there's always the uh, VOD on Twitch. But the YouTube one will be in crisp HD. Or so HD. Spragmill is asking me if we can drive and go to Gen Con currently. What? Uh, the answer is always yes to that, right? Yeah. How far is Gen Con from uh, the Twin Cities? Yeah. Is that? Now, where is Gen Con at? No, it's in Ohio, isn't it? I thought that was Indiana. Or, uh, or Indianapolis. Indianapolis. That's the one. Yeah. Um, origins. That's origins. Far. That's in Ohio. Yeah. A nine-hour okay. drive. That's less than they drove for Dice Tower. Yeah, we guys. drove what? 10, 10, 11 hours. About ten. Yeah, about ten hours for. Dice How long Tower? is it for us? It's like twelve to thirteen hours, I think. For us. Indianapolis? I don't know. Never driven up. Uh, yeah, Indiana that's the thing. I, don't, I don't, just don't know that. All right, so should we, should we, should we, what should we do? <laughs> should we ask him about the body? Yes, we definitely got to find out about the body. Um, so what is this thing on our board here? That's the, the, that's the organization. Oh, okay. The criminal organization. He said it was too big for us. Yeah, way too crowded. This I person kind is not of here. agree with you. Yeah, I gotta. Act. We gotta talk first. Gotta start talking to the chief. Mm. How's that investigation going? I'm counting on you. I have my own problems to deal with, and I don't have time to be breathing down your neck until you solve the case. Who knows what that accent is? No one knows. Um, we want to ask you about this dead body. The director of St. Mary's Hospital. He must have had a lot of responsibilities. I can understand that. You can't always do what you want in that kind of position. The director of the hospital. He's dead. Mm-hmm. All right. Bum, bum, well, bum. do we want to go ask the doctor about the body? That seemed to be useful last time yeah, we played this game. Yeah, doctor over here. Well, it's kind of weird that the oh, right. guy in the hospital kills himself by hanging when he could have, you know. Just injected himself with or things. Yeah. Very odd predicaments here. Yeah, Graybeard says, way too crowded for my liking. Jinkon does seem, after after hearing the numbers of Jinkon, I'm like, 60 plus thousand. Oh, yeah. that seems like a big number. Too many for me. Mm. What has happened? It's the doctor. The doctor. The doctor. Who's the voice of the doctor? To think Somebody. that I studied with Dr. Brown. It's strange to learn of his passing, but, well, death does not wait. Can I analyze a body for you? I thought you already told him which body. Oh, I see. You had to activate him first. Your, your buddy, your friend here. Dr. Herbert Brown. I hate when it's people I know. It's always strange to get to know them so intimately. A long time ago, back when I worked at St. Mary's Hospital, Herbert was an intern. And a good one. We used to play poker together while we were on a call. Okay, I'll take care of the body. He died by strangulation around 8, 9 a.m. this morning. That much isn't news to you. He had also ingested a large quantity of alcohol and probably wasn't thinking clearly at the time. Hmm. Yeah, I hear you, Greybeard. Oh, wait. The, the people don't hear you because it's covered by the whatever. That's fine. I, I remember I had to uh, rearrange this somehow. And I forgot why, but now I remember as he's typing that. There's that in replays, you can't see chat. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so, there it is. Now we got it. Yeah, I don't think any of us want, want to get into a lengthy yeah. discussion about that, and I agree that I'm going to reserve judgment on it, too. Yeah, and and with it being so far out, you know, it just is going to take some time. Yep. So should we head over to the hospital? I think so. Let's, let's search around to get some of these clues. All right. When you arrive at the hospital, you're greeted by Dr. Dorian, number nine, who discovered the victim's body. Dorian oh. Gray. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. She's, um, yes. Hi, Dr. Dorian. What's with the people's eyes on this game? <laughs> <laughs> I know they're all like giant. She was giant. the craziest one that, that poisoned the, the, 
the uh, the bridge player. Like the old lady, yeah. Yeah, she did her time, and now she's a doctor. Um, Dice Tower Con is no longer a thing. Yeah, it's yeah. becoming Dice Tower East. 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 Yes. And uh, he's, they're taking it over from the Havertz. The Havertz have nothing to do with it anymore. So the Havertz are going to have their own convention. It's going to be in the winter. Yep. Yep. Um, so what was previously called Dice Tower Con is called Dice Tower East, but it's going to be a different um, location and reduced numbers and a lot of changes. 1,800 attendants. You can go watch a long video yeah, from Tom Basil, the Dice Tower. and stuck in email it hell, so we're just summing it up. <laughs> yep. 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 Okay. So, should we search for clues, or should we talk to um, Doctor Dorian here? I think we need to search for clues. Okay. Great idea. <laughs> Who wants to search? Melissa, do you I want to search? For clues. Okay. I'm gonna unhook this so you can do that. Maybe we should wait for. Um... Wait. Is it out the window? The little thingy. Okay. He's. He's real swift. Well, she's going she's gonna to do that by herself and relay to us, so we're not going to watch anyway. Right. We just have to find the cards. Okay. So when you're ready, press that green button to search for clues. Hey, uh, you guys in the chat can help her. You're going to see on screen what she sees, so make sure you can type in anything that you see that she's not calling out. Okay, ready? Yep, we're ready. All right. I push the green button to search. So I do the without. Mm-hmm. All right, three, two, one. All right, I see a desk and a, oh gosh, a man hanging out. Okay, let's see, uh, we got chairs here. No, there's an icon. Like looks like a poker chair. Oh, oh, an alcohol bottle. There's like a Jack Daniels bottle on the ground. There's a computer with an email on it. Oh gosh, I don't know what that looks like. It's something on the floor. Oh gosh, I don't know what that is. Um, there's like a sink in here. There's like a display of a heart. Uh, a table. display of a heart. Like one of those little like science-y heart things. There's a telephone okay. a desk. There's a painting. The wall is hanging for like what looks like a ceiling tile thing. Make sure you check the floor. Oh. I didn't see much of nothing that would be helpful. I mean, it's just like an office. A bunch of furniture and office science materials. stuff. What was the office materials? She said she saw like books and stuff, didn't she? Yeah, there's like an office with like doctory kind of stuff, like a part. What display. was he hanging from? It's like a rope. Is that one of the things? Anybody else see the screen and see anything else I missed? Like there was something All on right. the floor. I could see not tell you. Bye, Greybeard. He's gonna he's gonna lurk. Um, okay, so should someone else look, or should we start asking questions and looking at stuff? I think somebody else should look. I just, I don't pick up very much on mine. Maybe somebody else might catch something. Or... I remember I had trouble with it last time. You try it. Oh, you try All right, to look I'll try it. it. Okay. All right, guys, uh, let us know. If you're watching, uh, tell us what you see on the screen. This is going to cost us another five minutes. On the floor. Just look for the things on the floor, because I couldn't tell, really. Okay, it's start there's a desk with a phone there's a l okay I see what you mean about the heart there's like a soap dispenser on the wall a light switch there's batteries a bunch of batteries lined up um, Maybe high -tech he's devices. hanging from uh, something his tie it's his necktie high -tech. Oh, tech devices ties maybe something about um, it's the part of the thing that you hang... Okay, well, I'll explain that after I get off of here. Um, the bottles on the floor. Food, liquids, clothes, maybe clothes with the tie. Something to do with toys and like a rattle. Games and toys. All right, so let's, um, let's check out the... Um, Let's check out the bottles, I guess. Yeah, I'm putting the stuff that, the top row of stuff that I thought was probably. A bottle of good quality whiskey. There are only a few drops left. You found a clue. 
bottle of whiskey. So we move the bottles over to here. I'm gonna move M up here just for later. Um, I guess we'll go to. Are we gonna look at the rope? Okay. I think it's actually his tie. Oh, so maybe close. Uh -huh. Let's try this. He was hung by his tie. Yeah. Dr. Brown's tie, a simple but high quality fashion accessory that he used to hang himself. You found, he found a clue. It's so maybe the cords and. Um, yeah, we might not need this one at all. Here. So, what do you think the batteries? Do we have an option for batteries? I'm going to pick up high tech devices because we weren't sure if that was batteries. Um, Maybe. They look like, like D level batteries. You know, like the big ones. Mm -hmm. Slivers, we have some local people here in our game group that go to Gen Con, and they're big cosplay people. I don't think there's much video game stuff, but there's definitely cosplay. Let's check this games and toys. That yeah. was weird because I saw something with like a spade on it. Yeah, I saw something like that too, but I couldn't tell really what it was. A or poker chip. Oh, poker chip. I both chip. looked. We both looked. Right. On which you can read Murphy's. We found the clue. We found the clue. Murphy's. Murphy's is the bar. Oh, we gotta go to the bar now. We're a bunch of drunk cops. <laughs> go to the bar every time. Um, let's see if High Tech Devices has those batteries in it. I wouldn't consider a battery a high tech device. It's a tech device, just not high. Nope. No, no importance. <clears throat> but his computer was definitely there, and the emails might be important. Maybe a communication device? For the batteries? The victim's computer. It's on, and word processing software is open, where you can read, there is too much pressure, I can't take it anymore, goodbye. Ooh. We found a clue. Something was happening. That sounds plain. There was, like, a fake mm -hmm. part on a stick over on one side yeah. that you would use like to show their to show a patient like oh this is how your heart works but I don't know if that's a clue y'all wanna y'all wanna maybe just office materials hmm. okay maybe the battery is into stuff, there yeah. ah here we go Dr. Brown seemed to be a man of habit he clearly had his lunch at Hyde Park every day that's D oh D Apart from his business meetings, his appointments for today are Scott at Hyde Park, Sarah at her place. Hmm. A small flower is drawn beside Sarah's name. Oh. Oh no. So that's at six o'clock and eight o'clock. So Hyde Park, we can head back over there, meet up. I don't think the furniture is important. So the thing he was actually hanging from, you know how like in so the doctor's office when they pull that um, curtain the um, curtain around, the track mm -hmm. that the curtain would go in is what he had like reached up into and pulled it down to get to hang from. I don't know how to <coughs> call that something, but mm. DIY tools. Uh, Last either. time we Is never it? found the, we never found the murder weapon. Last time I don't know. Was it in the lake? Spoilers for that. <laughs> oh, you looked it up after the fact. Or I something? just ran across it somewhere, and I saw if you look into yeah. the water during that scene, and she was doing, um, like if apparently it's one that says water or something, liquids maybe, mm -hmm. you find the knife in in the lake. Uh, we did actually have that as an option. We just never scanned it. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, well, maybe we should look at this blood and organs just in case. There might be something <laughs> important in there. Is it hard? We are iHeart Board Games. <laughs> the 3D representation of a human heart cross section. You found a clue. Okay. Okay. May, might as well do the furniture as well. I don't we think the to. furniture is important. Unless that they consider that part yeah, of the Yeah, that part of the... Clean and tidy desk, which shows Dr. Brown's fussiness. Nope. Nope. Nothing. So maybe we so should talk to her. Okay. 
and ask her about him and the heart, maybe? Hello, okay. I am Dr. Dorian. I'm the one who discovered the body when I arrived at 9 a.m. this morning. I was alone, but when I walked out into the hallway to alert my colleagues, I caught one of the janitors. Oh, mean-looking fella. Mean-looking shirtless janitor. In the middle of a heated exchange with a patient. Oh, Tank top. Oh, hey. Clark Kent. We can also ask her about herself if we want. Just scan her again and she'll tell her tell us about herself. Mm. We're good. Could be we important. Don't need a life story. Should we, <laughs> we just talked to her. Should we ask her about Oh, yeah. Him? Ask about the doctor. Dr. Brown always arrives at 8.30 a.m. Every morning I come to greet him and review the situation with him when I arrive at 9 a.m. I would never have imagined discovering this. He had seemed a bit off over the last few days, but when I went to say goodbye to him last night, he was arguing with a man I didn't know. I asked if there was anything I could do to help, but apparently I wasn't wanted. He was my mentor, you know. Running the hospital is a rigorous but fair manner. The most important patients lined up to have him. He just saved the life of billionaire is Eli, Eli Goldman. Eli Goldman's 39. Eli Goldman's. Uh-oh. Son, the last year he saved the daughter of the French ambassadors. Such a competent doctor. It's a great loss. The, what happened? The daughter of the French oh. ambassador was the one that got kidnapped last time. Yep. Mm. So I guess we should ask her about him. The Goldmans were Dr. Brown's last patients. He managed to find a heart for their son before it was too late. That was his talent. He always managed to get a compatible organ in time for surgery. I guess now we'll have to wait like other hospitals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sad. What of these clues should we ask her about? How about the games and toys? I'm interested in the poker chip and the what I thought was a rattle. Yeah. I was not in the room, but I leave it to you. The client probably forgot it. I can't imagine the doctor wasting his time with that kind of hobby. Oh, that's it. Um, nothing there. This letter doesn't sound like him. He was a rigorous and organized man. He left nothing to chance, and this is so bare. I guess when it comes to the end, nothing means much anymore. Maybe much it was of, fake. Much of Dead ends. Yep. Fake what about letter. the bottles? Because we know he was. Oh, uh, we know he yeah, was very drinking. drunk. Mm -hmm. Maybe he wasn't even a drinker. Because he just wasn't drunk. Are you sure you found it in his office? I didn't know he drank. But now that I think about it, he was being rather irritable over the last few days. His behavior had changed. I tried to talk to him about it, but he claimed he didn't have time. Mm-hmm. Something's fishy around here. Of course. Well, they wouldn't call us just to come in and see this. The janitor? Yep, that, that fella. What's that fella? It was the first time I had met this janitor. He was restraining a patient who didn't seem too happy. Mm-hmm. Should we ask about the patient? Yep. Why would he be restraining this patient? Yes, that's the patient who was arguing with the janitor. I don't really know what he was doing there. We asked that no patient walk around the hospital before 10 a.m. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's now 11 a.m. and we've got nothing. We know someone uh, died. We should... <laughs> <laughs> we should probably talk to him because he probably saw something. One of these two All guys, right. right, let's go talk to him then. He was upset for a reason. Who's going to be 
Steve Morton. Is it true the director committed suicide? I suppose something was weighing heavily on his conscience. Should we ask him about himself or? Yeah, we should probably don't even know who he is. Mm. He's Steve Morton. But who is Steve Morton really? I have a room on the floor below. I couldn't sleep anymore, so I was strolling around the hospital. I don't see a problem with that. Marty! Oh yeah, well what do you think about this guy? I don't like him at all. He was the director, so of course I've heard of him. But what for him to come to that, he must have had a guilty conscience over something. Hmm. Let's ask him what he thinks about that guy that restrained him. Hmm. See what the the fight was about. I don't know where that janitor came from. He saw me as I arrived in the hallway. I didn't know it wasn't allowed. Hmm. Did you ask him about her? Mm. We can. That's the lady in the tutorial that killed the other lady. But they don't represent the same person. I know. I just That's what I said. She, she did her time, got out, and became a doctor. <laughs> Good for her. Give him back to society. Hmm. A hospital doctor, but I had never had anything to do with her. Bunch of dead ends. So now we gotta go talk to him. Do we want to ask him about any of the clues? The when all we know about toys? this guy is he was being restrained for something, right? He was in, he was but walking he around and he wasn't something. supposed to be around, and the janitor stopped him. So I was thinking one of those two must have seen something. Hmm. So that's why I was saying start with him, because he might have been stumbled into the janitor doing something. Now we should probably ask the janitor. And why is this guy in Scotland Yard the middle guy again? He murdered someone and kidnapped a child. Okay. The first crime. Okay. But, um, yeah, because this is carried over. Do we want to ask yeah. about this guy? Like, associations? Are we assuming this is connected? We don't know that it's connected at the, all. The current thing is that this the director helped with the ambassador's daughter mm -hmm. last year, and now it's helped get a heart for this other people's son, the Goldmans. Hmm. Which is this guy, right? Is that the Goldman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was getting them the wrong kind of way. So now I think we should talk to this guy and see what he says, why he, why he got into a fight with that guy. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have been told that the director committed suicide. It's awful. I probably, I would have probably have discovered the body myself if I hadn't caught that patient who was lurking in the hallways when he wasn't supposed to be there. Want to ask him about the patient? Yeah. Or about that guy? How much does it, you know, we should be asking why. I mean, I assume he just stopped him because he was walking around, but he may have. I saw him hanging around in the hallway around 9 a.m. this morning. Patients shouldn't be there at that time, so it looks suspicious to me. Hmm. Let's go something about our yeah. our dead body. Hmm. Janitors usually know the scoop. Yeah, they got to clean I it never met here. Dr. Brown. He was the director of the hospital, if I understood correctly. Likely story. Janitors know everything. It's true. Well, we did. Uh, I should know everything. Old Dr. King told us that he died at 9 a.m., right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he said he saw him at 9 a.m. Mm-hmm. I wonder if we had the hacker look at the computer, would that help us? Oh. I like it. Yeah, couldn't hurt. Old Gloom Mary. Scanning, scanning. Scanning, scanning, trying to, oh. Still scanning. How can I help you, detective? My keyboard is itching. Nerd. 
That's how I went. That's how I do we called you. <laughs> yeah, just nerd. to make fun of you. <laughs> Up my face, nerd. Nothing really noteworthy in the computer, but I will probably be interested to learn. But you will probably oh, be interested you. to learn. The, to learn that he hired a detective, Tracy Duncan. Maybe you should go to her office to talk to her. It's Jane. So talk and, about it. Yeah. Okay. Go talk to her. What was in Hyde Park? He was going there to meet. He, he had lunch there. Six o'clock. And he was also going there to meet somebody, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. So he, 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 he always person. eats lunch there. Oh. And, and, he's does, and does heroin sex. with the with the <laughs> nanny. <laughs> with the nanny. <laughs> All right, I think we should go talk to lunch the heroin. private detective because yes. she might know a lot. I'll have a lunch portion of heroin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you let's agree. Yes. Sure. Let's talk to the detective. Do 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 do. Clank clank. This is the focusing game. Focus, focus, focus. Scanning, Focus. Scanning for results. It looks pretty clear to me. Focus. There, there we go. go. When you enter the warm premises of the Duncan Agency, you are greeted by the smiling owner, Tracy Duncan. Tracy Duncan. Hello, detective. How can I help you? Let's ask her about this, too. Yep. This guy here. We need to know what you know. You know this dead man. Do you know this man? He hanged himself. Damn. I hope it has nothing to do with our case. A common friend had sent him to me. One of your colleagues, Scott Clover. I would like to help you, but whether my client is dead or alive, I still have a commitment to my client. Without betraying his memory, I can tell you he hired me to find one of his relatives. Telling more would be sending a bad signal to all the other clients who trust me. Mm -hmm. Where's this guy go? Hi, Jim. I already forgot what she said about him. He's, he's, he's a black. colleague of ours. Yeah. Uh, he works with us? Something, I don't forget what his name was. He's a dirty cop? No. I had the opportunity to work with him in the past. He's a friend of Dr. Brown's and the one who advised him to come and see me. Back from Dice Tower Con. Oh, Hello, Vidger. Yep. Yes, we're back to life. Back to reality. And I don't like it. <laughs> Whoa. Disappointed. Whoa. What else should we ask her about? All right. Oh, I don't know. Should we ask her about that? Yes. Why'd you yawn? Now I yawn. Yeah. Of course I know Eli Goldman. In my line of work, we have to know a few things, so we're bound to have heard of such about such a major banker. It's like, of course I know about him. What do you want to know? Uh, uh -oh. You want to ask about Buck? <laughs> Buck. I'll be right back. This guy? We haven't asked anybody about him, huh? I don't know if we they even should. Bad. He probably is not relevant. Why is he here, then? They just mentioned that he's at Scotland Yard. Uh, well, I think it might be. <laughs> do, do we know more about her? Do we ask her about herself? She's a private investigator. Yeah, but what was she investigating for him? What she she wouldn't tell us. My name is Tracy Duncan. I have been a private detective for almost ten years now. It started my own agency with my own, without anybody's help. It's not always easy, but I get to help a lot of people. Hmm. It's not always easy, eh? Maybe we should ask her about the bottles. Like, did you know he was drinking? How well does she know? <laughs> and all this time I thought his name was Ronald, not Tracy Duncan. <laughs> I noticed when I was putting that stuff earlier. Ooh, that could be something I forgot to switch back to. 
Continue. Should we ask? Well, Joe, it's just you and me. Should, should we ask her about any of these people? I don't imagine she'd know them. But she was doing something for him, so maybe... She was... won't tell us about it. She says it's a privileged information. I think we should maybe just leave and go to Hyde, Hyde Park. Unless you want to ask her about one of our clues. We could ask her about M. Sure. No, I have never heard of that organization. You're kind of a hurricane. Just a nice Tower West. It's a cheap flight to Las Vegas, isn't it? <laughs> You're my I flight don't know. guy. Hmm? You're my flight guy. I am? Yeah, you fly more than me. <laughs> I haven't you flown probably, since... You probably get south... You can get southwest of Vegas. I haven't mm -hmm. flown to Las Vegas since 2005, so my information's pretty I outdated. Mm -hmm. I went in 2004. Oh, there you go. And it was 100 something dollars on southwest. That's it. <laughs> That's some recent information there. <laughs> well, while we have her here... I feel like we should ask her about at least one of these clues. Let's ask her about the games of toys. The chip is? from Murphy's, Drake O'Brien's pub. He regularly hosts poker games there. I'm not convinced everything is quite legal. 49? Oh, this guy again. There's one eye, Willie. Yeah, we went there in the last game. Yeah, no, thank God we're going back to the pub. Yep. Hmm. It's almost no. All right. I haven't had a beer. It's 1220. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm late. <laughs> I say we leave Southwark and Lewisham and go to Leicester Square in yep. Hyde Park. That's where he usually has the lunch. The sun is shining in the park. A few joggers are running. Friends are laughing on the grass. And you recognize the gardener, Kyle Thomas, who's very busy trimming a hedge. He's so busy. I'm just trimming this tree. Oh, 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 no. The chief officer is calling you. An explosion occurred in Lewisham. Tracy Duncan's offices just exploded. The private detective died in the flames. And there's nothing left. Lord, we just left from we there. We were just there. She was my best friend. We could have we'll grown out. up. What did we learn from her? She was. She wouldn't tell us anything. He's a banker. Yeah. That's about the extent of it. She was doing something for him, but wouldn't tell you what it was. She knows wow. this. She knows this guy. So obviously, we got to talk to to our colleague. Yeah. Who we don't. I don't remember his name now. When I see him in the hallway, I'm just like, always oh, <laughs> hey, 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 you guy. How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Detective. 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 What's that case you're working on? Yeah. Hello, Detective. How can oh. I help you? Oh, I look hope at the it's time. necessary. It's the last time. I was there last time. I don't know. Did the gardener start running when he saw us? Damn, the doctor is dead. How <laughs> sad. Why are you laughing about it? How sad. <laughs> he had his lunch on the bench almost every day. Over time, we became friendly, and he wasn't a bad guy. Now that I think about it, a few days ago, a young, dark-haired guy with glasses, quite thin, attacked him. If it wasn't for me, they probably would have gotten into a fight. Ooh, he's in trouble now. Might be. That's him, the one who went after the doctor. The guy insulted him, accused the doctor of anything and everything. His wife leaving, losing his job, all kinds of stuff. There was a crazy look in his eye, and I think he could have killed him if he had, if I hadn't stepped in. Mm -hmm. 
The uh -oh, hospital's administrative office is calling you. Dr. Brown's office has just been ransacked. <gasps> Maybe you should go back there. Uh oh. All right. So are we saying goodbye to Kyle? Um, we got some useful information out of him. The longer we stay here, the more locations start changing. <laughs> All right, let's go back <laughs> to Paddington. The hospital's going to blow up next. Yeah. Oh, there's <laughs> no! Okay. Obviously, someone came through after you and got rid of any evidence you had missed. Oh, no. Alright, I feel like either me or Melissa should look at it again since we'll notice what's different. Alright. Since okay. you guys didn't see it the first time. It's true. Y'all can move this out of the way. Alright, I'll do it. Alright. I volunteer as tribute. Alright. <laughs> Take a good close look. Oh gosh, they knocked the art off the wall. There was a safe on the wall. Oh. They opened it up. It looks like it has, okay, yeah. There's chairs turned over. Um, that rattle thing is still on the ground over there. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like a boutonniere or something. The computer is still pulled up. Um, that's really like the only things that's different. Everything else looks exactly the same. See any kind of weapons of any kind? No, just the art off the wall. So do you have see. like decorative items or something? Any footprints? No, no footprints. Someone else want to look? Jesse, you want to give it a look? Mm -mm. Joe? No, let's go. Let's go. I think we found the safe. Oh, I think this is important too. Oh, that's the art. The art was the, like, significant thing. The art has been moved. Oh. Yeah. Nothing. Significant Modern, modern art. We didn't even know if it was, like, a Rocco. It or was a, a giant, like, part of the picture. A crack safe. There are still some papers left, but whoever opened it clearly took what they were looking for. Oh, we found a clue. Found a clue. Hmm. So we should probably ask her what was in the safe. Uh-huh, yes, she said that before. Mm -hmm. Yes, we got all that. What can you tell us about this safe? She tells us. When you hold such a high profile position, you definitely need a place to source sensitive information. I would like to help you open it, but only Dr. Brown has the code. That's oh, so we should have found it. Yeah, that sounds got like ran tech, huh? Oh, sounds yeah. like something she would have said before. Maybe we should go back and talk to this guy and ask him again about him. Also, oh, ask him about yeah. the gardener. The gardener. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who said this. Oh, you found out the truth, haven't you? Okay, I'm going to talk, but I have nothing to do with the death of that nasty bloke. Sure you don't. So we're asking about the gardener? Sure you're innocent. He is the one who you told you about that, isn't he? Yes, I went after the doctor a few days ago. He was eating his little sandwich in the sun <laughs> as if nothing were. He has no right. He killed my son. He could have saved him. <gasps> I wanted to hurt him. And if that gardener hadn't stepped in, I probably would have done so. He wasn't a good person. I won't be mourning his death, that's for sure. Oh, you sound guilty. Mighty guilty conscience. Nah. That nasty sellout let my son die just because I could have greased his palm. He chose to save the Goldman son when he wasn't, when he was lower on the transplant list. 
Ooh. He deserved what happened to him and worse, but it wasn't me. I just arrived in the hallway when the janitor, 28, caught me. Even if I wanted to kill him, I wouldn't have had enough time. Never enough time. Seems pretty bad. That's probably where he hoards the millions he gets by not respecting the Hippocratic Oath. <gasps> Do no harm. He's just an upset father. Um, can we talk yeah, to him? I think we need to talk to that guy. Would he be at Scotland Yard? He said it was a colleague of ours, right? Yeah. We could check and see. All right. We'll have to spend some time to leave. Is there anything else at Paddington we need to do before we go? Maybe we should ask the janitor about the safe? About the, yeah, about the office. I mean, if we could, but... I don't know who that was. It was Joe. Isn't he? Oh. It's the same thing he already said. Yeah, they're going to tell him the story again. <sighs> See earlier for that. I don't expect to find this here. He probably had things to hide. He sounds just like you, Joe. <laughs> that was me. I'm her picture. Hmm. We're going back to the station. Back to the station. New Scotland Yard, the place where police officers and criminals meet. Let's see if we can talk to this guy here. Yep. We, uh, we need to have words. Ooh, yep. he's there. Ooh. So the Clover's at his desk. How can I help you? Tell us about this man. What are you asking for? Herbert dead? Shit. He was a friend of my parents. I've known him since I was little, and I liked him a lot. Oh, shit. I think he said shoot. There were three asterisks. A few weeks ago, he contacted me because he needed someone to investigate a matter quietly. I put him in touch with Tracy because I completely trust her. He contacted me again yesterday, telling me that he needed to talk to me, that it was serious, and he needed my help. Now I feel bad that I didn't see him right away instead of making an appointment for today. Now I feel bad. I feel so bad. Bad. My God, I can't believe it. Her job was dangerous, but I would have never imagined she could end up like this. And so young, to think that I encouraged her to do this job. I guess I don't really have any reason to keep her secrets anymore. Before finishing her last investigation, she had sent me a photo <gasps> to ask if I could identify one of the two men. Ooh. She was following Ronald Bosch. Ronald? Ronald. And wanted me to identify the man he's talking to. I don't know if it's important, but she seemed to believe it was. That's Ronald? You have a clue! He looks nothing like you. That's the man from the photo, who Tracy was following. I believe he works at St. Anne's Orphanage. Mm hmm She's her location has now been burnt up, so <laughs> let's slide her over out of the way. Yeah. What else Ooh. do we want to ask him about? We need the photograph. Oh, should we ask him about the Yeah, about that other man? Tracy sent me this photo because she was following Ronald Bosch and wanted me to identify the man he was talking to. I think it was related to her investigation for Herbert, but I don't know how. All right, so ask him about Should that. Should we ask him if he knows this guy? Oh. All right. All right. I think this is a red herring, this guy. Herbert told me about him. He said he was a patient who was unhappy with the hospital. He lost his son and has been blaming Herbert for it ever since. I advised him to file a complaint, but he didn't want to. Do, he didn't want to. All right, so then I guess the 
This guy? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, he would know. I mean, she knew who he was, so she would recognize him if he was in the sec- if he was in the photo. But Eli Goldman, the famous banker. Of course, I know him. I believe his son was Herbert's last patient. We have thirty-seven. Oh, that's him. The okay. guy that's dead. Okay, well, we have at least two more locations we can go to. Bloomsbury or Soho. Where would you guys like to Did go? Did we ask him about himself? No, but he works with us. Trust no one, Ronald. <laughs> Not even yourself. I've been a police officer for seven years, and I've been through lots of things, but the loss of a loved one is always hard to bear. I, I think we should go to Bloomsbury. Yeah. Bloomsbury. Yep. Find out what was the private investigator investigating. Never trust anyone named Ronald. That's for sure. <laughs> you enter St. Anne's Orphanage, a welcoming place where you can hear the laughter of children. In the hall, you notice Ronald Bosch, one of the teachers who's pulling an orphan's ear <gasps> under the orphan. indulgent eye of the director. Amanda Ross. This person Poor looks like orphan. trouble. Is that, wait, is that a six or an eight? Eight. eight. Oh, I couldn't tell on the screen. Oh, Lord, <laughs> she's got some wrinkles. She's off screen a bit, but that's all right. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good change. Imagine we won't need to go back to talk to the gardener again, but he's there just in case. Well, at six o'clock, he's gonna meet that dude. Mm-hmm. Or he was going to meet that dude. So we talk to Ronald? Yes, yeah. talk to him. Who's Ronald? Don't be mad at me, detective. I know kids shouldn't be treated like that, but sometimes violence is the only thing they understand. Sounds just like you. Same name, same voice. I wouldn't mind helping out, but I really don't know. Oh, shit. Isn't that a photo of him? (laughs) Maybe ask him about (laughs) this guy. I don't know. Wow, he's dead? I used to play cards with him from time to time. It's weird. Going nowhere fast. <laughs> Talk to the old woman. So say goodbye to Ronald. Where is the picture Did you know of him? Ronald come from? Oh, no, I guess he was doing something. He gave it to us. Because that lady was following him. She gave it to him. Wow. The dead yeah, lady. Yeah, I'd say scan Should the middle guy. Should we ask him if he knows her? Oh, that's a good idea. As well. She's cute. She came to talk to the director a few days ago. Number eight. Oh. So we should probably talk to the director. Yeah, I think. And ask her about what you she don't want to ask about this middle dude. Thirty nine. The guy, the Goldman. Ask him about him. Yeah. See if there's a connection. No, mm-hmm. I don't know. Something else. Don't know. Hmm. Somebody's gonna know that guy. I say we talk to old man. My name's Amanda Ross, and I had, have had the honor of running this noble institution for over 40 years. Ronald is one of our oldest employees. I'm very lucky to have him, and I totally rely on him. The children don't like him much, but that's because he's firm with them. But they need it, otherwise they run away as soon as they can, like, just like Lewis did last week. Lewis so nine, Star. eh? Star. Oh, nine. Uh-oh. Oh, nine. Little runaway. Missing person. Wow. Missing Good child. Boy. about this little Lewis here. Little Lewis. All those kids
kids who run away. It's unfortunate, and it scares the other children. They still believe in the boogeyman, you know, little Jimmy. He's here. Oh, he's right. For example, he's playing it tough, but he tells a lot of nonsense about his missing friends. Uh-oh. What you thinking? The picture. The orphanage is a good source for organs. Ah, that's true. It's Ronald speaking with Dr. Gayman. Gay it? man. 35. We don't have. Oh, we don't have 35? Oh, here he is. He doesn't look like a gay man. In the photo. It's just the last name. Those two have so much to say to... So much to say to take good care of our children. Harvesting Oregon. So Jimmy knows what's up. Mm. We're going to ask her about the, the detective lady. Too. Dr. Gaiman. Of course, I know him. He comes by from time to time. He implemented a system to help our orphans get medical treatment with no cost to us. A real saint. Hmm. You want me to ask about her? Yeah, she came to talk to her. Oh, yes, I remember that charming young lady quite well. She did. <laughs> she was an investigator and was looking for one of our orphans, little Lewis. Unfortunately, he's one of our runaways, disappeared just a week ago. That's the problem with those children. They're lovely, but often unstable. Already read that. We did that. Uh, so we want to. We probably want to talk to, to the, the kid. Yeah, talk and to ask him what happened kid. to Lewis. I'm a big boy now. I can look after myself. I don't need anyone else. I know everything about the orphanage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a big kid now. When Lewis disappeared, I saw strange tracks going to the cellar. But it's closed. We can't go down there. That's not it, Melissa. It's not? It's not a three? Oh, wait, oh, the, the, the I didn't see that request. Thank you. But it's closed. We can't go down there. Something is off in that story. Mark my words. A three. Oh, wait, over here. Yeah, footprints and tracks. Tracks towards the basement. Mm. It goes here. Was it a clue? Yeah, yeah. They just told me to put it there. Mm. It's like I'm telling you. The day after Lewis disappeared, I saw traces going down to the cellar, but nobody has permission to go there. Mm. Should we ask about Ronald? I wish yeah. we ask him about the doctor and the, yeah. Yeah. He is the doc who comes to examine us from time to time. My buddy Lewis, we used to make fun of his teeth. They are weird, aren't they? But now Lewis has disappeared. Harvest. Oh no. <laughs> Ronald is mean. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> he keeps taking it out on us. Sometimes, and sometimes some of us disappear, like Lewis a few oh. days ago. <laughs> I found that. tracks leading to the cellar, but what? it's closed. We what's can't this, go down there. What's this, the Lewis thing with tracks? What? Uh, that's the first I've heard about. What is this? Oh, gosh. Man, you just stick to that story. Let's see what he says about the old lady. She's a director. She's not bad, but she lets Ronald do anything. Sometimes it seems like he's the one who's the actual boss. Mm -hmm. Should we ask Ronald about the footsteps? Or ask her about the footsteps? We should ask one of them about it for sure. Yeah, I agree. Let's ask her. She seems more trustworthy. I agree. Yes, I've already introduced myself. I've already introduced myself. We have a cellar. <laughs> yeah. 
It's supposed to be re the cellar. We haven't been using it for a long time. I believe Ronald has the keys. Of course he does. Guilty. Put him in jail. What's it got to do with the guy who hung himself, though? I don't know. I think that the he doctor was, didn't the know. Do don't be mad at me, detective. I know kids shouldn't be treated like that. Oh, we said that already. Yes. <laughs> Maybe the doctor found out about it and felt... Really bad? Yeah, really bad. Himself. Like, because he didn't know that it was happening. You Let want me to unlock the cellar? There is nothing to see there. You shouldn't listen to that nasty kid. But as you insist, I don't have a choice. Ronald unlocks the door to the cellar for you. You should search it. Oh, yes, yeah, search the cellar. Here, Jesse, search the cellar. Oh, we're search not wired. the cellar. No, it was so making, it, I'm was making this. it very hot, yeah. Without, Without. correct? Mm hmm. All right, here we go. Five, four, three. All right, there's an operating desk. There's some helium tanks, a wheelchair. There's some files on the floor. So there's uh, some tools okay, for surgery, like objects. scissors and scalpels and all that. There's a bottle. There's a hacksaw. There's um, some sort of electronic device. Yeah, this looks like an operating room. It has a desk in here. Uh, there's a knock over barrels. A bed, a human organ for transplant case. Uh, the stairs, of course. Um, I'll see what else. There's a. Uh, it's kind of wet down here. Um, let's see. And we're leaving, and it's just a really dark hallway all around. All right. Who else wants to look? Is that what about boxes? And, I want to get yeah, the boxes. The box Did you get boxes? And Did you see boxes and packages? Is it? I mean, Do we need in. to look anymore? I mean, there's. There's surgical items and an organ transplant yeah, thing. So it's yeah. obviously, yeah. yeah. The thing that was most highlighted was the organ transplant case. Yeah, so ask him about like boxes. It was very and, bright. Or maybe we just in the room. say what's in boxes. So what would that be? Under medicine and drugs or um, blood and organs or high-tech devices? It was definitely high-tech devices. All right, there was see. drugs, I mean, because there was a bottle there. Um, a detector of bugs and spy cameras, a pretty standard model. A small list has been scribbled by hand. Ronald, Drake, Brown. Hmm. Hmm. Bug detector. Where's this doctor at? This doctor? No, this doctor. We don't know that. He's just hanging out somewhere. A dice tower west in February. Do you notice know medical out. equipment? You're drawn to drug bottles on which ketamine is written. Ketamine, ketamine. is a horse tranquilizer. Hmm. The ally tools, definitely true. Scan! Scan! Focus! Focus! Scan you, card! There we go. Nope. No object from this category here. Yeah, there are lots of tools. Well, what object would you, what would you call it? It was a kit that had like the... You know, scalpel, scissors, and all sorts of stuff for doing surgery. There's melee weapons. <laughs> and there was a hacksaw What was that thing? They said it was a detector for cameras and bugs. Mm -hmm. And they said, what were the names? They said Ronald, Drake, and who else? Brown. Brown. So we only have to know Ronald, right? Dr. Drake, that's him, right? He's Dr. Herbert. Oh. Herbert what? Oh, that's the last name? Is Herbert? Herbert I think so. Ew. Who's brown? I thought he was brown. Who is this doctor? Damon. Oh. That's true. Damn it. It's hard to remember. Are there any signs names. and symbols? I'm going to ask for three new partners. Um, <laughs> I mean, the box just had print on it. I don't know if that's a sign or symbol. I'm about the box. 
Yeah, that old transportation box visibly used it not long ago. <gasps> would, should we get so some scientist? Blood? Is that oh, a, maybe the thing? scientist person needs to examine the stuff for us, like the box. Hasn't been cleaned. I wonder why that's significant. Because they can get the blood off the of DNA. it. The DNA. I like to call a friend. Hello, detective. How is the investigation going? May I analyze anything to help you? Nerd. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> say that about everybody. Nerd. Nerd. I analyzed the traces of blood that were left in the box. The they blood, they blood is type A positive. They blood. <laughs> they blood is type A positive. The same that is needed to save the Goldman son. According to the DNA analysis, it is 97% certain that it was Dr. Brown's son. Dr. Brown's son. Who is Dr. Brown? Um, what's the guy in the middle's name? Don't He's know. Goldman. Goldman. Goldman He's Brown. the banker. He's the banker. We haven't oh. encountered a Dr. Brown. Oh, oh. Uh, that's the guy whose son died, maybe? What's his name? No, he needed a heart. And he didn't Goldman get said it. needed a right, heart. Right, right. And they found the, the Lewis, who disappeared, gave a heart for this man's son. Hmm. Mm. Oh, this is getting trickier and trickier. <laughs> maybe we should ask the scientist about the blood and organs? I don't know. Well, no, I mean she just gave us everything, so we uh, we skipped to we skipped to just not finding. Hmm. Maybe we need to go to this place. We haven't been here yet. We need to talk to the barkeep. I don't know. When did that come up? Oh, when you were uh, looking. That was the the detective lady. Didn't she tell us that it came from Murphy's bar? Oh yeah, someone told us that that poker chip came from there, we and someone else said that he played poker there. Yeah, that's right. We need to find this Dr. Brown fellow. Dr. Brown. There probably already is one of these people. Yeah, we just don't remember the don't names. Don't remember their names. No, I mean, there's not... There's Should only... be writing that stuff down. <laughs> no, this was a Stevenson. What about this dude? This doctor? He's that, not a doctor. That's a colleague. Yeah. She was a doctor. Oh. He was a janitor. He was a patient. He was a doctor, but we don't know where he is. We don't know where he works. I think it's him. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That would Is be it his Herbert son. Brown? Could Herbert be. Brown? Yeah. Was that his name? Can we? Oh. This person's not here. He's in. The... <laughs> He's dead. We're still in the orphanage. Y'all want to leave the orphanage and go Who's somewhere Drake? else? Who's Drake? I mean, that was the other thing. We had Ronald Drake Brown. That's true. I don't think we've discovered who that is. Is that guy named Drake? Is that is that the guy at the at the pub? It's Drake. The pub is pretty empty. There's so Drake. So quickly find the barman, Drake O'Brien. He was Drake the Irishman from last time. Ah, who did that voice? You. Okay. Irish. Channel my Irish. It's like Lucky Charms. What's up, BJ? Hey, BJ. Hey, BJ. How's it going? Detective, have you developed a taste for this place? I hope you are here for pleasure, not business. And let go of me, Lucky Charm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not taking it there. I'm doing the serious one. He's doing pirate. Yeah. Yes, he's not quite one of my regulars, but he came here several times. Asked about Dr. Herbert Brown. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh, it says that on there somewhere. Still <laughs> tired from playing Gentis. Oh, God. <laughs> BJ and I played Gentis at Dice Tarkon from like 11 p.m. to like 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the entire hall was clearing out as we sat there continuing to play this Euro game. I'm still sleepy over it, too. <laughs> <laughs> well. That was days ago. Yeah, many days have passed. I guess we'll ask him about Ronald. All right. He is a regular, and I believe he works at an orphanage. Well, yeah. Doctor. Yep. You know, 
something about this gay man. Gay man. I don't know him as well. And he isn't a regular client, but I think you shouldn't waste your time with him. He didn't seem like a very interesting bloke. Should we ask him about the missing child? Mm -hmm. uh, one can know everything. Scotland ring, Yard ring. is calling. Ooh. Ronald has just been ring, found ring. dead. It looks like he drowned in the Thames. His body is currently at the morgue. Oh well, no, we're losing people. This is getting right. ridiculous. Someone's cleaning. Everyone up the is place. dead. People are cleaning house. That is a lot of cards. A lot Can of we ask him about her? I mean, she got blown up. <laughs> hey, Ronald's dead. <laughs> oh. She's a private investigator. And I saw her ask a few questions around here. I had the feeling she was interested in one of the regulars, Ronald. Oh, Let's ask him about bad. Ronald now, now that Ronald's dead. dead. Ronald wasn't only playing poker with the doctor. They were involved in dirty dealings together. <gasps> like we he works at an orphanage. What, like, like we so suspected. <laughs> oh, no. You can try to do Dice Tower West. Ooh, we'll when see. is it? February 25th through the 29th, I think. See, February is just not... I don't know what's going to be happening with my yeah. new job. I can do whatever I want. Because <laughs> I'm just... We're proud of you, Ronald. Yeah. I didn't uh, think you'd get there, but you did. I mean, I can do whatever I want. I can go wherever I want because I don't have... I'm not a school teacher. I don't know what's going to happen for me in February. I don't know. I'm Unless sure a Catholic school will be very fun if you tell them you're going to Las Vegas for the month. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I just need to go to, I need to, go to Vegas to get across. Well, well, also, you have to, you know, you'd have to fly there, I think. <laughs> yes. yeah. I don't know if you'd be able to drive to Vegas. It'd be quite a trip. No, yeah, that's we'd have to fly. Days. We'd have to. Um, when do we get Dice Tower North? Um, uh, some, people, uh, couple years. some people asked that, and they were like, no. But yeah. he did say something about having one called Dice Tower South in Texas. Um, Ooh. Lies. Lies. Because Texas is the South. It's very important. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to I got to fix for Dice Tower South Northeast. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys, I feel like we don't know. Anything. I think I think he was meant to send us to the orphanage. And so now we don't know so we 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 forgot the name of our of our original Mr. victim, but now we now know Herbert it. Brown. And we know something about his son. But which you didn't know about before. I think he did kill himself over guilt for doing the. He's the one that did the job in the basement, right? Maybe we should ask Drake about these weird boxes. Who's blowing everything up? Like who's? That's the question I, I can't answer. Who's trying to cover up the tracks? He doesn't know. One can know everything. I think he was meant just to direct this there. I don't think he knows the particulars. He might know something about him. Yes, I've heard of him, of course, but he's not the kind of guy who comes over for a drink. Play this one, pretty sure the butler did it. Yes. Do we ask the butler? With the candlestick. With the candlestick. In the billiard room. That's Only we should ask. Maybe we should ask the criminologist something. It's uh, 1,800 hours. Shouldn't this we be in the park? Why? Because he supposed was to meet meeting somebody. his friend Alex or something. We almost let that go by. The sun is shining in the park. A few joggers are running. Friends, same thing we as it him. was earlier. We have him. We have him. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Where's Alex? I mean, I no, mean there's no. it took us 20 minutes to get there. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. We probably should have got there on time. Nothing. We're late. Let's call the criminologist. Yes, I say the criminologist. We never talked to him before. <laughs> Just anybody help! Help us, please! <laughs> Sorry, you, I was still on the, the guard. Gosh. 
First of all, you made us late to the park, and now you're I asking I didn't make you anything. <laughs> Okay, what are we asking the criminologist? Hmm. Hey, about the doctor guy. I have no idea who's doing this, but we don't know where this other guy is. Herbert Brown, a man of many dimensions. He did a lot of good for St. Mary's Hospital, but he's very well known for operating on famous patients. So he's also criticized and called an elitist. I also see he, that he, that it seems like he used to have a major gambling problem at a time. Mm-hmm. We need to go back over here. Yep. Who is blowing things up? <laughs> Talk to him. Feeling that the tide is turning, detective, and I don't like it too much. Maybe we can help each other and... If you know how to keep, keep quiet. quiet. Oh, we're back at the pub? Mm -hmm. I want to ask him about this. Yeah, sometimes I host small poker tournaments just among friends, so no need to declare them. If you want to talk to Dinesh over there about it, no need for it to get out of here. Oh, this dude? Yep. Goes here? I'm not doing his voice. I'll do it. He doesn't like Dr. Brown very much. Mm. I didn't realize I was still on him. Yeah, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, Dinesh. Would you have a little drink with me, detective? What's so funny, Ronald? <laughs> Nothing. Seems to put it up. <laughs> The doctor is dead. I'm not really surprised. He was a crook, you know. He kept cheating at cards to make me lose. Just ask Ronald when he's he dead. gets in. We can't Let's ask Ronald. You. He's dead. Uh, that's how we break the news to him. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> at my age, one gets confused sometimes. At your age, how old, how old can you possibly be? I am 73 years old. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Ronald? And then we tell Ronald and he said he didn't know him. He did it. He's blowing up stuff. <laughs> just because we don't know him. I don't know. Who's blowing up Let's ask the people? doctor. What are we asking the doctor? We're running out of time. About Ronald's body. I'm with mm. BJ. The butler did it. Fair. The candlestick in the billiard room. Who's wearing his? I think Melissa mm. was. Mm. He was strangled before he was dumped in the Thames. Mm. There's uh, 08. 08. Star 08. The murderer was wearing gloves, so I found no prints, but Ronald managed to scratch him. Therefore, here is the killer's DNA. <gasps> here it is! It's right here! Can we ask him about the DNA? Does he know? Or do we have to ask the criminologist, the science forensic lady? Physi uh, specialization is physical evidence. I guess that'd be physical evidence. All right, let's ask her. I've got the killer's DNA. Yep. Right here. It's so large. I have large DNA. Oh, in your metal badge. Name the killer. Go. <laughs> Look for someone with a scratch up. I couldn't give you an identity, but this DNA appears in at least three murder cases related to the mysterious killer nicknamed The Cleaner. We're messing with the... Oh, someone's been hired for this job, I imagine. He cleans up things, like in Pulp Fiction. The Cleaner! Like a janitor? Oh! Oh! oh. oh yeah, the janitor, janitor did it. Orbital 
Uh, should we ask her about the footprints? Couldn't hurt. Her? Oh, she's yeah, a yeah. forensic Physical. person. As of evidence. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if we could be specific about where they are. I've run all possible tests, and I haven't found anything that would help your investigation. Would we, would we have to be in Bloomsbury when we did it? Or does it... Oh, wait, it doesn't matter, because there's only one footprint. Um, did you ask her about the, the, the stuff he was drinking? Yeah. Melissa Sings has ah! a great song about a janitor. <laughs> What song is that? <laughs> the, the Mad Lib that we made about the janitor. The oh, I do right, the dream right. with the lame is. <laughs> the janitor song. Ooh. We found two sets of tr uh, trace evidence, both in and on the bottle. The first set inside is DNA from Dr. Brown, who clearly emptied the bottle on his own. However, we found a set of prints on the bottles outside, which belonged to a Roger Gaiman. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe spit. Yeah, backwash. Yeah, backwash. So Gaiman gave him the bottle. Mm, maybe it had poison in it. You gotta find this Hall guy. Hallucinogens or something. So, if we're he's a doctor, right? So maybe we go to Paddington and then scan him or something. That's how we found the police officer. We could probably ask the. The doctor, lady doctor there, Dr. Dorian, if she knows oh, him. Oh, that's a good point. Hello. <laughs> I am alone, but we've walked yeah, out yeah. to the hallway to alert yeah, the we, colleagues. We've had that conversation already. I just thought you should know again. <laughs> Hello. Just walking yeah. about. <laughs> yes, that's him. He's the man who was arguing with Dr. Brown last night when I left. That's him. Where is he? But can you tell us where he is? Please, Should we go back we and talk to, to the chief? I think we need some help. Chief, help us. Give us a hmm. clue. Well, how do we find the officer at Scotland Yard? We just went, there. went to Scotland Yard and talked yeah. to him. Like he said, and this guy's. So you think this guy's at Paddington? I mean, he's a doctor. I mean, there's lots of places doctors could be, I guess. Huh. She, she's having Marion with him, but we don't know where he is. It's 20 o'clock. Uh-oh. Something else happened at 20 o'clock on his notes. Yeah, but I don't know what. I think it was the... the, the he was the, supposed to meet his... The person. The, the person the with the flower by it. The Sarah in, in the... The what? Sarah or something Sarah. like that. It had a little flower next to it. Oh, but where were they going? Don't know. Maybe they're going to the bar to have a drink. Oh, yeah, just have meet with Sarah. Maybe. The bar sounds right. It's pretty late. It's 8 o'clock. You go to a bar. Yeah. I think they're going to the bar to have a drink. It's going to take us 20 minutes to get there. How much time do we have? This is our canine crime unit pup. Mm -hmm. She's not... They didn't say any, anything about another they person. It's more lively, though, didn't it, or something? It's just the same as messages they had before. <laughs> Did he know about the... <laughs> so I feel like we need to ask him a specific question. Did he know, he, did he know him? Did we ask him that before? This guy's a ghost. Him. No time is a good time. Well, I don't know him as a regular client. As he's uh, a regular right. client, he doesn't seem like a very interesting book. Mm. Where is this dude? What? Maybe he knows about the bottle. Oh. Uh, I think just because I'm a bartender, I know all of our <laughs> models. I can't know everything. That was the doctor's favorite brand. He used what he used to drink when he came over here. You know, before he died. Yeah. Drinking all that whiskey. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Where was the thing that had the pr his name on it? Drake's name on it. Drake's name. high-tech devices, if maybe? A very strange list you have here. I'll tell you what I can, but I'll have to keep it quiet. I would prefer my name not to appear in your report. That's fine. Just tell us what you know. Okay. Okay, where's the list? 
It was that. I know, but devices. why didn't you say it? <laughs> hey, what sure was it? It was Ronald it. Drake. Brown. Brown. Oh, right, right. Ronald and Dr. Brown were working on some major organ trafficking for the M organization. <gasps> Other people were involved. I was acting as a link between them and my contacts at the organization. I work for MI5 and my mission is to dismantle the M organization. I'm basically James Bond. What you see is only the tip of the iceberg. That's the way they get funded. I've been working on this case for nearly a decade, and I just believe I'm just about to discover the real goals. The doctor was losing quite a bit of money gambling. I put him in touch with the organization, and that's how they became their contact. The doctor started a business with other people, provided by the organization, and allowed him to bounce back financially. My murdering children. Oh dear, this sounds like some bad stuff. I passed on messages that involved Eli Goldman, and the organization seemed to have an interest in Dr. Brown helping him. I don't know any more about that. This bartender seemed to know a lot of stuff. He does. But the only thing is, we don't know the ID of the cleaner. We just, I think we know everything that's happening. It's just, I don't know who's doing stuff. I never really knew where the organs were coming from. Someone was pulling strings, but I don't know who. Da, 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 da. Hmm. And we don't know where the other doctor person is. Well, I really don't know. <laughs> we asked about him. Yeah, he's not, he's not an interesting fellow, which is strange because he is interesting. He is fellow. quite interesting. Should we ask like, him about the DNA of the killer? Yeah, the I mean, cleaner, he might know what the cleaner is. He's in my five. He might have some information for us. <laughs> If we believe that. I know the killer known as the cleaner, a pro who doesn't do things halfway. Well, now. The cleaner. The cleaner. The cleaner! The janitor is the cleaner. She's a private investigator, and I saw her asking a few questions around here. I have a feeling she was interested in one of the regulars. Ronald. They're both dead now. They're both dead, yes. The, the yeah, I think he's the janitor. He's the cleaner. Just makes sense. I am not sure, but I believe I saw that person during a meeting with the M organization. <gasps> oh! <laughs> it's fitting. Hello, James. Hello, James. <laughs> We're going to the hospital for the fifth time. We're back! <laughs> you just keep going to the bar getting sauce yeah. <laughs> and yes. back to the hospital. Now we go. Have a, have a, let me ask you some questions. DNA. Don't really see how I can help you. Organization? <laughs> oh, he's just laying the, laying the track. <gasps> Give it a good clean. Yes. Woof, 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 woof. What is it, boy? I think he smells something. He's hiding he's things. He's a doctor. Bad dude. He's a doctor. He's just hired oh. or something, that's right. He doesn't know anything. You can see him on the second He floor. won't tell us anything. He won't tell us anything. He's suspicious, that's what. And he said, we scanned that, yeah. He's he never met that, yeah. Yeah, but sometimes they'll tell you something about different the lady for information. Yep. I mean, he's not going to tell us anything. I think we established that, but... Um, we need something to trigger him. That, what was that photo? That was of that guy. That was nothing. Um, 
Maybe the boxes and packages or something? Or? Yeah, well, maybe. I mean, we already tried to show them the DNA evidence. Yeah. His footprints? If that, oh, that wasn't his footprints, though. That was uh, Dr. Brown's footprints. All right, he's not giving it up. It was in the, the photo was of Ronald and Dr. Miss Dr. Ronald. Yeah. Right. I mean, if we scan the M organization, I mean, he's just not going to let it go at that point. Yeah, he's not giving us anything. Is this game really fun or is it enjoyable? Yeah, I like it. It's just puzzly. So we're sitting yeah, here thinking Yeah, well, the a problem lot. is we, you get <laughs> you get stuck. Yeah. And you're not sure where to get it, how to get yourself unstuck. So what are we doing, Ronald? You're not talking. You're just walking around. So I'm telling how you, I have my own problems to deal with. And I don't have time to be breathing and I can oh, take you solve the case. Oh, help us. Should we solve the case? I mean, should how we much ask, should we ask him a something? question? I don't how know. much time do we have left? Don't know. He said he wanted it by the end of the day. And when's the end of the day? Well, it's 22.50 right now. <laughs> so we got like an hour to burn. We're still at the office. Yeah. We just... <sighs> so we don't know where this guy is. We don't know where this guy is. We didn't get a lot of information out of him, right? If you like games oh. like Sherlock Holmes or Mythos Tales, stuff like that, but it's he worth said, getting... You but he sent us to talk to him, so he was in the M organization. He might be in the M organization. Hmm. I wish we could find another location. Should we go to the hacker? He says it's also, also his specialty is intelligence. We could ask him about the M organization. Yeah. I like it. We don't have to leave anywhere. We need to get another location. First three episodes just didn't like dealing with the camera thing. I liked looking around, so I think that was cool, but I'd rather play detective. I haven't played detective yet. We're going to, though. Ooh. My research is going nowhere. I did see the name of the M organization mentioned a couple of times on the dark web, but it sounded more like rumors than reliable information. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, detective's sitting over there behind Ralph. Oops, or behind Joe, really. Wait. There it is. In bold text. Yep. Detective. Uh, de detective. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to know. We've done that much. We found the box. Yeah, we found the box. I want to know who's I'll doing all this case. blowing up people stuff. The cleaner. Well, but who's the cleaner? That well, our goal this time was just to find out what happened to this guy. Do we yeah, feel like we it know asks that? Those questions, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can go to solve the case, and if we don't have all the answers, it'll like send us back in for more. I say we go ahead and do that. See what we're missing, because right, right now we're just at a standstill. All right, we're gonna go here. You're about to try to solve the case and end the game. Are you sure? Yes. Who killed 37? Wait, 37's dead? No. <laughs> I think he killed himself. 37. Yeah, right? I think he died from mm -hmm. from guilt. Yeah. Now I think the... What did Dr. Brown do that was illegal? Boxes and packages? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What caused the doctor's betrayal? Um. <laughs> he said somebody was his own son or something, didn't he? Dr. Brown's son? Yeah, Dr. Brown's son was. The, the org that was the organs that was being transferred or something, but. High tech devices? Maybe the, the DNA? Organs? Wait, where do we find that? Or maybe, that we found I know, that maybe out. was it. Was it the the gambling? Did he, did he need <laughs> I money? I kept detective seven spicy food and links out of eight bags of crackling. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What I was his betrayal? Out of out of eight. What was his we betrayal? don't know that. I mean, would it be because he needed money, oh. or would it be that he? That's something we're kind of in. Yeah. Cause the doctor's <laughs> betrayal. I think um, that dude with the 
I think it was the listening devices, the high-tech device. The listening device okay. had, it, the, had the had his own name on it. Yeah, it had his name on it. That might have been one of the people he, they were listening to. That was also the place he did the surgery, though. Yeah, that's, that's why I was saying it might have been this most likely this guy. What caused the betra doctor's betrayal? What caused the doctor's betrayal? I guess maybe... Uh, um, the M organization? What is the betrayal? We don't, don't know. know. We don't know. Let's okay. go with the M organization. Everyone in agreement on that? Sure. Joe's like, not me. <laughs> well, I mean, it's that. Where was little Lewis killed? In the I think cellar. in the cellar. In the cellar. Blooms, Bloomsbury. Who was in charge of the organ trafficking network? Oh, that's that dude, Ronald. Ronald. Oh, what? yeah. I guess that was... I don't, I don't know if he was in charge of it. I don't think he... Or maybe think it was the him. organization? Oh, the gamesman? The, the gay man? I think he was doing... Gay man. He was doing it. I think it's him, too. I think he was... All right. Let's do oh. it. We got a hunch. In your report, <laughs> explain who is likely to assist the chief officer in his investigation into the M organization. Oh, him. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't found out who killed Dr. Brown, but you have dismantled an organ trafficking network all the same and arrested their leader, Roger Gaiman. Mm. Okay. Unfortunately, the latter was found hanged in his cell shortly after being taken into custody. <laughs> oh, yeah. gosh! So the cleaner's still doing his thing. <sighs> However, by naming Drake O'Brien in your report, you have blown his cover. <gasps> and, oops, we weren't supposed to do that. Oh, no! <laughs> and, uh, are I'm now summoned to the powerful domestic intelligence agency M15, MI5 to be continued. Whoopsie. Oh no. Oh, we, we didn't can do we still get a, Can wow. we still go to the pub and get a drink? Or? <laughs> First of all, we got zero points because we went over our time limit. Oh yeah. no. Second, we killed, we didn't get the right killer. Should have said the cleaner, I guess. Wow, that yeah. is pitiful. <laughs> Yeah, we did pretty poor. What have we done wrong? Well, we got a yeah. few things correctly. Yeah, I mean, like I think, because remember he said that the, <laughs> yes. he, was, said he was strangled, and the other guy said that it looked like he had been strangled. Who's number 49? Yeah, the cleaner doing his thing. Yeah. Number 49? This dude. The oh, that's what we said. Yeah. Which is correct. We got 10 oh. points for it. This so is solution. Plum pitiful. Dr. Brown was a brilliant doctor, but a mediocre poker player. He was up to his ears in debt and had been exposed by Drake O'Brien when he was offered a simple solution by Roger Gaiman and the M organization. When a person who could afford it needed a transplant at St. Mary Hospital, the organ would be found for them without any administrative hassle in return for a healthy sum of money for a service. Brown was oh, then put in touch yeah. with Ronald. Yeah who was in charge of finding the source material so Roger Gaiman could procure the organs. The operation could have lasted for years, but Sarah Jones, 12? We never found no, her. No, we never found her. That was the Sarah he was meeting with. Oh, the Sarah, we missed We missed her. We didn't We didn't meet her no. at the right time. Well, no, we didn't know where she was going to meet. The guy we missed oh. was Alex. Oh. Uh, came and confessed to him that she had abandoned their child 10 years earlier. Oh. That was his boy at the orphanage. Oh, at the orphanage. The little Lewis. <laughs> there was so much story. The doctor missed. was troubled by the news, and he hired Tracy Duncan to locate his missing offspring. The response was not what he expected. The child had just disappeared from St. Anne's orphanage. Oh, little Lewis. Dr. Brown immediately understood oh, that his gosh. child was the one who had been used to save the Goldman son and realized he, that at last, the enormity of what he had done. What a twist. Oh. He decided to tell a friend in the police, but the M organization was informed and sent Albert Victor, the cleaner, 28 janitor. to eliminate all evidence of trafficking. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we should have said. We failed. We got a lot of it. We knew that it was his son. Yeah. Yeah, we did. But that's what we didn't I didn't understand. Didn't why, I was like, why is his son at the orphanage? That's what we didn't understand. I didn't understand that. Uh, we never met Sarah, and we don't even know how we were supposed to meet her. Yeah, meet Sarah Flowers. Well, we got three out of five stars. That's not very good. We could have not you know, we said it was him. Unless right? the flowers meant the park. <laughs> Did you enjoy playing this scenario? Yes. 
Then go review it. Oh, you said no. I did, because last time I said yes, and it just sent us to BGG. Right, right, right. Mm. Well. So that one was um, considered hard, and I believe it. Yeah. And we'll have to go on to chapter three next time. Uh, yeah. So what did you guys think about chapter two of Chronicles of Crime? The we're, we're pretty bumbling cops. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty rough. Who helped you? That guy over there. Yeah. <laughs> so my five. Maybe notes would be a good thing next yeah, time. Yeah, we take kept forgetting yeah. so many. Like, what's that guy's name again? Who did we already talk to? Where'd that <laughs> person go? Where's was she? Like, I mean, we're like going over things we had already gone over, losing time because we'd forget <laughs> someone's name or forget who talked to who. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I never. I never knew how we were supposed to find him. We never uh, found people, Sarah. We were right about our hunch, though. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty certain it was him. <laughs> and we were right I was pretty the... certain it was him that was doing the cleaning up afterwards. So we should have I mean, it does, it does that help, it does help other people who died that <laughs> were investigating. Well, um, if you want to see how the whole thing turns out, tune in next Monday for the thrilling conclusion of that scenario. Next Monday? Next Monday, 7 p.m. Yes. Wow. And if you don't care anything about Chronicles of Crime, that's fine too. We'll be here on Wednesday playing Galaxy Trucker. Ooh, that's the fast way to pull the, the thingamabobs from yep. the Oh, yep. Lord. oh yep. Lord. And on oh, Sunday, man. we'll be here with Sevenfeld's Amerigo. Oh. And you might be saying, why are you playing Amerigo? That's an old game. Why are you playing Galaxy Trucker? That's, that's an old game. <laughs> yeah. It's because people asked for it. Yes. Specifically, we give the people Melissa what, asked for Amerigo. We'll give the people what they want. People you want to make requests, you can do so on our Discord channel. There's all kinds of places you can make requests. If we have them, we'll play them. If we don't have them, we'll see if we can find them. Mm -hmm. Or try. Mm -hmm. And add it to our schedule, which is very full. Um, we do thank you guys for being here tonight. On our grand return from Dice Tower Con. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got some work to do to put those things online. Yep, got what, some work to do. What a um, way to come back and <laughs> fail our mission completely. Yeah, let's fail. Right, BJ? I mean, we don't have anyone who has access to any Feld games I know. Around. I mean, they didn't just <sighs> get some new Felds or nothing. I mean... We will be playing those later this month. And you can check our entire schedule on Discord if you're interested in that. Do we have a link for Discord? Um, yes. There's Here's our Ooh. Discord. You can always join in there and find out all about our schedule and talk to us about other board game fun stuff. So that's fun pretty stuff. much it for us tonight. Do we have anyone we want to raid over to to spread the board game love? Yeah, we'll find somebody here. Let's go to... Have a good night, Vidra! Good night. Good night. See you next time. Thank you for coming. Uh, let's just go over to. I had someone in mind. What was it? Let's go over to. Um... Same to oh, you, yes, BJ. Same to you. We'll, we'll see you soon. Yes. And a half tabletop TV. Yep. So yeah, that's it. So until next time, the box is closed. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.